Okay, this is Dr. Williamson. I'm gonna teach how to calculate the average deviation. This is the formula for the average deviation. Notice I have absolute value brackets here, okay? So let's say I have four measurements. I measure a five, a six, a seven, and an eight. Those are my measurements. My first to calculate average deviation, I have to calculate the average. So I take the five, six, seven, and eight, I add them up. I divide by the number of measurements, which is a four, and that gives me an average of 6.5. And in this case, the number of measurements, n, happens to be equal to four. So to get the average deviation, I'm gonna go here, five minus 6.5, absolute value of that plus six minus 6.5. Sorry for my penmanship, guys. Absolute value of that plus seven minus 6.5. Absolute value plus eight minus 6.5 minus 6.5, absolute value of that, divided by the number of measurements, which is four. Five minus 6.5 is negative 1.5, but I have to take the absolute value of that. So it's a positive 1.5 plus five plus 6 minus 6.5 is negative 0.5, but I have to take the absolute value of that. So it's positive. Here I'm putting parentheses plus. 7 minus 6.5, which is positive 0.5. I have to take the absolute value of that, so I leave it positive. Plus 8 minus 6.5 is positive 1.5. I have to take the absolute value of that, so I leave it positive. I'm going to divide all this by four, and let me get my calculator out. So 1.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 1.5 gives me four, divided by four gives me an average deviation of one, okay? And just to give you an idea of what average deviation means, if this was a bullseye and I'm shooting arrows at it, a large average deviation <clears throat> means my arrows are spread out from each other. They're not really close together. Does it tell me whether or not they're exactly correct? It just tells me that they're spread apart. Over here, if I have a small average deviation, and small is relative, depends. If I have a small average deviation and I shot the arrows, a small average deviation would mean all the arrows were ended up really close to each other. They may or may not be on the bullseye, but that they're really close to each other. And then whether or not one counts as a small average deviation or not depends on what you're doing, okay? And it depends on what experiment and stuff you're doing. But anyway, that's how you calculate average deviation and what it means. Okay, then I hope that helps.